Greetings, Turians Chaos here. Today we're going to be taking a look at how you can spice up the means from getting from one floor of a building to another. Now there's nothing wrong with just having a diagonal row of platforms. I just wanted to show you a couple of different ways that you might make it look a little bit more interesting or maybe even a little bit faster. So the first design that I'm going to be showing you today is just basically taking that diagonal staircase and just making it where it's going in an L shape. So if you think about a house where you have a staircase that has a bend in it, so you go up one flight of stairs or half a flight of stairs, and then you take a turn and then you finish going up, that's pretty much what we're going to be doing here today. And what I'm going to do is just take some brown painted dynasty wood with some actuators. I'm going to make a flat landing right here and then I'm just going to make some steps down. Now the reason why this is actuated is so that we can walk through it and still get out of the house on the other side. So what we're going to be doing here is just grabbing some uh, uh, brown painted dynasty platforms and these will not be actuated and we're just going to make a row of them coming straight down and this will be our stairwell and then once we hit the platform we're going to add one here here and there as well but these three we can go ahead and actuate once we've hammered them to look like steps because we don't want to walk up these unnecessarily so just plop some actuators onto them and push those right into the background so already we've pretty much got this design done. What we need to do is make it stand out from the rest of the background walls so that it actually looks like a stairwell. So we're going to grab some uh, ebon wood wall and we're just going to fill in everywhere that this new staircase is at. And already that's starting to stand out even more. And actually what I'm going to do is just bring this right up against the stairs. And then I'm going to switch to some planked wall and just line the stairs themselves with it like this. And maybe to give an effect of a handrail, I'll bring the dynasty wood up like this and actuate it so it matches the dynasty wood beneath it. And now we definitely have more of a stairwell look. We can also shape the platforms if we'd like to. And that's pretty much this design of stairwell done. What we can do if we wanted to is add a guardrail, maybe using some minecart tracks or something like that, but I'm not going to be doing that today. Let's just go ahead and jump straight into the next design which will be using this same house since we still have some space to work with so what i'm going to be doing again is placing some dynasty wood with some actuators and we're just going to make a three by three uh square but that's going to be topped off with some stone slab that is not actuated just to give a different texture And then we're going to build the same thing on the second floor, but a little bit off-centered. Because what we're going to be doing is imagine that there's a stairwell behind this, and it's going to go up a flight of stairs, take a bend, and then go up a flight of stairs, and end up at the top here. Next, what we need to do is just grab some shadow paint and paint the back wall on the top floor. Grab a teleporter and place some actuators on it. And paint that shadow and then actuate it. So that we can walk in front of it. And on the floor below, what we're gonna do is place a teleporter that's been painted white on the bottom with some actuators on it and we'll just switch to gray paint 
place some slime platform, switch to black paint, and place a little bit more slime platform. So we have white, gray, and black. And then we're going to switch to the gray paint with a plank wall. And we're going to place that behind the teleporter. Switch to the black paint and behind the middle row. Paint that black. And then switch to the shadow paint. And again, plank wall, shadow paint behind the rest of the uh, platforms. Now what we're going to do is hammer the teleporter all the way down as well as the platforms. And then we're going to actuate all of them so that they're in the background. So what you'll see now is that it looks like there's a stairwell going up into the background. It just gets darker and darker as it fades into the shadows. And then you could imagine that right around here, it would take a turn, come over here, and you'd finish walking up the stairs and end up on the second floor. So that's another way that we can have a stairwell. As of right now, it doesn't do anything, but if we were to grab a couple of switches and place one next to these entryways, and I could just clear out all of these actuators that we no longer need, grab some wire and just connect the teleporters to the switches and now we have a doorway that we can quickly go up and down to the second flight of stairs the only drawback to this while it does look fantastic is that the teleporter glows so uh, you could tell particularly on the second floor that it has a blinking yellow light you can hide this by using some gem spark block in the background but I don't generally do that because I don't like the way that it glows constantly. And if I were to do that down here, it would ruin the texture that we have for the stairwell. So it's up to you whether or not you want to do that. But that's two of the designs done. Let's go ahead and look at the third. The third design of stairwell that I wanted to talk about today is the spiral staircase. So what we have here is a really long tower with a row of brown painted shade wood going all of the way up to the middle up to the top floor. Now I want you to think of this shade wood as more of a pole that the stairwell will be wrapping itself around rather than as part of the background wall. So what we're going to be doing is grabbing some brown paint and some dynasty platform and I'm just going to start right here. So the idea of the spiral staircase is that when the platforms or the steps are facing towards your point of view, so when they're closer to the middle here, they're going to be shorter in length than when they're all the way off to the side pointing against the outer walls where they'll be longer at length. So we're starting here at the middle and we're going to go up two and then up for three. And this is where it starts to wrap around behind the pillar. We're going to go up three one more time before we reduce the pattern again. The reason why I do that, the two levels at its longest length, because if I went straight back to the two, we would still have a spiral staircase, but if I followed that pattern, and you could see here, it looks more like a diagonal than a spiral. So we have a straight line going to this point, a straight line going to that point, and it's more of a straight edge that I don't want to have in this sort of staircase. So we're going to have two rows of it at its longest length before repeating the pattern. Now here, we're imagining that the stairwell is in front of the pole. That's why I placed this pl uh, platform right here just now. So it's visually in front of the post. At this point, it's wrapping behind the post. So it's actually not going to be placing a platform there because that would be in front of it. That's going to be invisible. And then there's going to be another platform right here, but that's invisible because it'll be behind the post and it's going to be too wide like that. So it would look like this if we're in front of the post, but since it's behind it, we're going to leave it like that. Continue to two, three, the second three, back to two. And at this point, now that it's wrapped behind the post, it needs to wrap in front of it. So we'll continue with two just like that, but this time it's in front of the pole. 
back to threes, two, and then a one here because it's wrapping behind the pole one last time before it gets to the second floor. And that's really all it takes to get a really good looking spiral staircase. You can choose a different kind of platform if you want the stairs to match better or perhaps you could hammer them uh, to be all the way down so that you don't get any of these drooping bits. But I'm not really talking a whole lot of platform choice here, I just wanted to show you how you could lay out this spiral staircase easily. The reason why I have a second floor of a wall where it's all wooden it's because I wanted to show you something that you could do with these spiral staircases to make it to where you can easily get back down the spiral staircase quickly. You see, if you go down the middle of the staircase, you hit each one of these platforms. And even if you go down the edge, you still have to hit four of these platforms before you go all of the way down. But, if you had a stone staircase like this, and this really only works with the stone variety unfortunately because uh, the wood ones don't actuate quite as nicely but I suppose you could do this with wood if you wanted to but let's just go ahead and fill this in like that so we have a stairwell here that's made out of stone if we were to take actuators and just run them along the edge here like this and push those into the background, then take some white paint and paint those actuated bits. They look a lot more gray. They look almost identical to the unactuated bits, just a tiny bit darker. But what this does is you still have a means of getting up the stairwell by jumping up these solid platforms, but if you go all the way to the right and press down, you fall down smoothly. You don't need to hit every platform on the way down. And that could be a great technique for having a quick way down spiral staircases. But again, it just doesn't quite work as nicely with the wooden one because we can't paint it a lighter shade of brown. And when we actuate it, we end up with a darker segment right next to the lighter segment. And it kind of ruins the effect of the spiral staircase. Again, you could just paint these gray to make them look like they're stone, but if you don't have a colorful background like the wooden one, it just blends in with the stone background in this case. So it's not really a viable option, but of course you could do whatever you want with your spiral staircase. I just wanted to give you some uh, options and ideas of your own. I wanted to thank you all very much for watching. I hope you found this tutorial useful. And because we missed a Build Tips tutorial last week due to some software issues I was having with my recording software, I'm actually going to be doing two Build Tip videos this week. So in a couple of days, expect another Build Tip video, and it's going to be showing you how we can do elevators in Terraria. So be sure to check that out. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and a comment. I always enjoy getting all of your feedback, and I really do appreciate it. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll catch you all later. Happy building.